Since March 3rd, 1871, the Surgeon General has stood at the helm of Navy medicine, embodying the organization's mission, vision, and direction. It's hard to think of a Navy medicine without a Surgeon General or a nominal head, but this was exactly the case. When the U.S. Navy was established in 1798, 24 physicians were granted commissions that year. Although they would represent the beginnings of the Navy Medical Department, none of these pioneering physicians served in the position as the head of Navy medicine. In the ensuing decades, a host of senior physicians based in Washington, D.C., played a de facto role as consultants to the Secretary of the Navy and Board of Naval Commissioners on medical issues. With Congress's Appropriations Act of 31 August 1842, the Navy's bureau system was created, which established the Bureau of Medicine and Surgery. Heading the new bureau was a chief who was responsible for all communications, requisitions, and policy relating to medical affairs of the Navy. However, this chief of BUMED held no formal rank or command until the Appropriations Act of 3 March 1871. This act recognized physicians as part of an official staff corps, medical corps, standardized relative ranks for medical personnel, and granted the Chief of BUMED the title of Surgeon General of the Navy. The Surgeon General of the Navy would serve as both an administrator and a director of professional medical services in the Navy. Therefore, on March 3, 1871, BUMED Chief William Maxwell Wood became the first Surgeon General of the U.S. Navy. From that point, Navy Surgeons General focused their attention to building the foundations for the future of Navy medicine and helping to advance medical science in the preservation of health of sailors and Marines. Principles of naval hygiene and laboratory research were promoted. The first instructions for medical officers were published and statistical reports from those serving with the fleet were collected. And for as long as there has been a Navy medicine, there has been a desire to improve the ability of the organization to better serve the warfighter. Historically, organizational changes have been spearheaded by leadership seeking internal improvements, but also necessitated by circumstances like war and congressional mandate. Following wars, Surgeons General have had to lead during periods of demobilizations and help to navigate through the challenges of reduced personnel and budget shortfalls to ensure the Navy continues to meet its ongoing operational mission. Surgeon Generals have long been supporters of new innovations and research and development. As leaders of Navy medicine, they have been instrumental in the developments in nuclear medicine, undersea and diving medicine, supporting aerospace research efforts so vital for launching the Mercury 7 into space and the Apollo missions to the moon, harnessing new technologies and innovations for the betterment of Navy medicine and anticipating future needs. These needs have ranged from telemedicine and frames of choice, championing frozen blood research, founding the first tissue bank, spearheading the development of new medical platforms, pushing forth the program to get the first clinical specialists aboard warships, supporting enlisted medical training initiatives to expanding the reach of global health engagements. Throughout the history of Navy medicine, the mission remains unchanged. In 2019, Admiral Bruce Gillingham was appointed Surgeon General. His immediate goal? to ensure Navy medicine increased its focus on supporting the operational forces. The new framework for the mission was the Surgeon General's four priorities, or four Ps. People serving on platforms and performing with the purpose of projecting medical power for Naval superiority, whether in the war against an invisible enemy like COVID-19 and other public health threats, or strategic military threats from other nations. The Surgeon General has and will continue to serve at Navy Medicine's helm, directing our course 
and helping to ensure that we meet our healthcare mission in support of our warfighters.